What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. Does this crab corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. What now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. Guys. Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. Has he always been able to do that? He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing. That you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't! Shut up! You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark, I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path, and then try to find the exit. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic? At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Oh, uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it's... What's that supposed to... Shh. I don't... More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. Shh. What do you mean, shh? Starlight's right. Shh. Right about what? Shh. There's a new way out! So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Ooh, do you all feel that? We're so close. You finally figure out what we're here for? No way. But I do know it won't be very easy, especially not for you. Okay. One last time. It's fun. I 
remember this part. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... No, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay. This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now, right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help! We're a family! We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy! Yay! Really great speech, Will. How did anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Come on, cut him down! Feels like it should have worked. I think it all it takes is one more blast. 
No! The water, Quill! I... I can't! You know I can't! Fuck it! Oh, no! He's shooting! It's gotta end sometime! Never thought I'd say it? for us. Hey, a friend needed help. A bunch of them. Rocket, man. Yeah. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulky, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. He's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? I've heard you make that speech so many times, and then Gamora says something like, We're going to need Drax? Uh-huh. And then Little Fuzzy says, Nope, I ain't playing this game. And then Little Fuzzy usually says, If I get eaten, I'm gonna be real pissed, Quill. That does sound like me. Relax, nobody ever gets eaten. We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's... a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug! Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of... external digestion sack or something. <laughs> you realize this is weird, right? Oh, it gets weirder. What the... Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock.
You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. <laughs> Not quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys. It's him. Aaron Witchcraft. No. Wait. Aiden Warsock. Ashley Warsaw. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine... whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Ugh. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas, her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. Teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your minds. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, god guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Hi, Groot. So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him and convince him to come back to reality. Uh, Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsaw. She means you. Quite clearly. Whoa. This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Poor guy was stuck here. Reliving the loss of his family. Your friend's fear and pain primed him as prey. What do you know about it, Goldilocks? More than I mind. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny can never stop digging. <laughs> until he accepts what's there. You're not the only one that hears that, right? <laughs> 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 we got a runner! After us, Star Guy! I don't know this part! Drax! Please be something soft down there! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Drax? Not Drax. Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, hey Gamora? I'm gonna enjoy this. After all, something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? I think I'd remember there being two of him. Twice the ugly, twice the target practice. You got this one! Hey, Goldie, don't suppose you want to lend a hand? Just like the gravestones. There he is again! Drax, buddy! Wait up! Forced to follow fools. <laughs> Damn it! I can hear you with You play pawns on a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. Ever catch him? What then? I'm working on that. Left, little one. Huh? You can see Your me. friend is too far fallen to be willed back by words. For someone who's been no help, you seem full of opinions on how this works. 
It is you who fought- There! Look! Hey, how did you beat me? Because <laughs> I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa? Are you alright? Drax, Camaria, it is time to come home! What the flock is that? Yes, little one. Your mother waits. Insidious succubus! Release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. Those spawn of shadow! Snuff their source while I widen our We're way! We're coming from those nests! Whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. There will be more. Is that Drax's wife? I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big luck. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know if you ask. Got here. 
here. That's the last one. Endless entropy. Cease this charade. Cover your eye holes. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping. Oh, old wizard. All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. Or forward, or whatever. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was alone in a dark pit. Drax! Come on, buddy. I know you can hear me. This ain't flarkin' funny. I know you're in a dark place right now. Literally. But we're not gonna give up. There! Look! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us, I'm sure of it. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drax, love. It is time to eat. Fearless mate I've ever known. He brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it... I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had. And not resent the time that we lost. Shall love 
and honor you both. Always. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. You quill. Your child is in danger, if her pain is half my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More than why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Hey, we're in this together and Smart Money says it's gonna be a tough fight. Even in earnest. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed, symptom and solace. He worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, Dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps. Pernicious priesting. Feeble fools fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! Now you've got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. 
Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and has now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think... I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corel was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different. And it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivable. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. That's what Corell said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So... Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? Step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus has merged with her, she may not survive the severing. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What's going- What are you- Oh, oh Lark. Lark. They've got the Cortex. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. That sound like you're not coming with us. These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying. I'm starting to actually get you. Papa Squat Golden Boy, you're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It has assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. What 
wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And in the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? He's worried about the mutt. Says it would be easier with his help. I take it Groot didn't reach Cosmo? No dice. The tree is persistent. He will keep trying. Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her homeworld? Mantis will tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh. Do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentus. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on. It was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved our lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, we'll save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Do I get a raise for this? One tick. Done. On it, and fix. So, about my raise. I don't think that's where Golden Boy went to. He's in your cabin if you're looking for him, Peter. I know, I know. According to this, the Collector reported Groot. Oh, hey, Rocket, Groot. Sup? What are you doing snooping through Groot's scut quill? I am Groot. Well, maybe you should mind. Whoa, 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 guys. Groot, I, I didn't mean to invade your space. Seriously, I would never do that. I was just curious about this report thingy I found. <laughs> yeah, the report thingy that just so happens to bring up a lot of painful memories for Groot. Real smooth, Quill. I am Groot. It's not fine. The Collector kept you in a frickin' cage like some... Some kind of animal. As if it weren't bad enough, you lost your entire planet. I am Groot. Fine. Groot says he'll answer your stupid questions. What happened to your homeworld? I am Groot. You never told me that. I am Groot. What did he say? He says the Shatari blew it up with a, an experimental doomsday device. Holy crap. That's awful. I am... Ain't the worst part, Quill. 
Groot says after Planet X was blown up, the other branch worlds mobilized. But they weren't no match for the Shatari and also got destroyed. I am Groot. Far as he knows, he's the last of his kind. Oh, Groot. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'd do if Earth was destroyed, if I was the last human. I am Groot. He says it's not so bad. He's got us. How'd you end up with the Collector in the first place? How do you think? He stole Groot. I am Groot. Fine, you tell it. I am Groot. He says the Collector found him at the start of the war, in the wreckage of his planet. Holy crap. But just a piece, a splinter. The rest got destroyed like everyone else. Just a splinter? Does this mean you can't die? <laughs> I am Groot. He can still die, but he ain't gonna, cause I ain't gonna let him. <laughs> I'll replant you a million times if I gotta. So, how'd the Collector find you? I am Groot. A drone found him, dormant in space. Guess old Piven scours the galaxy for new specimens. I am Groot. Slavery ain't the same as saving. I am Groot. He insists the Collector saved him by planting him, and also keeping him in a das cage until I stole him, hence the stupid Flarkin report. Is it... still... active, the report? Will the Collector come collecting? You see any gold domes around lately? Fair enough. I know we don't talk a lot, group, for... You know, obvious reasons. <laughs> but I can't imagine this team without you. I can't change the past, but I can't commit to making the future better. I am... He says he knows, and he's grateful. Would a wanton hand supply sustenance to this chamber? He's asking for room service now? Come get your own! <laughs>